The government has been under pressure to revisit their decision not to extend free school meals for children in England over half term. Man United forward Marcus Rashford is spearheading a campaign to make sure that no child is left to go hungry, with communities coming together to provide supplies for those in need. We asked people what they make of the government's decision. The government have backtracked now and said that, that the council are going to get the money, but the council have got other priorities. Will all that money go to the children? I think Marcus Rashford's right. He's got his system all up and running. Why isn't the government following his rule? The footballer from Manchester is doing a great job and how far he's got with everything, but it should be down to the local governments to sort out. What's what? That's what he's paid the wages for. And like the, the, the virus, what's obviously we know the virus has caused all this, but they just don't seem to be pulling their weight. I think where it's genuinely needed, where the parents are genuinely struggling, yeah, it's it's the government's responsibility. But at this time where we've had COVID and they paid out so much more money anyway, I think it's more the parents' responsibility to where they can the money properly. I mean, what gets me is when people that are on benefits and they're saying the kids have got not this, but they're tattooed, they've got enhanced lips, they've got eye fashion clothes on, but there's no money to feed. That's what I'm against. When it's genuine, yeah, and I think we all have a responsibility, not just the government. If we can help out by donating, that's what we should be doing. That shows that there are communities behind Rashford. I mean, I'm not a mank by all means, but I do think it's right that the community, and I think it's lovely that people are getting together to save the community again.